robot goes ahead and does is clean the teats off. Have you ever wondered what the future of farming looks like? Imagine a world where robots take over the roles of traditional farmers. In the next 10 years, this futuristic scenario might become a reality. With advancements in technology, robots are poised to revolutionize agriculture in ways we never imagined. But how exactly will robots replace farmers? Join us as we look at how robots will replace farmers in the next 10 years. The landscape of agriculture is undergoing a significant transformation, driven by the increasing adoption of autonomous technologies. At the forefront of this change are autonomous tractors, self-driving machines poised to reshape the way we cultivate our land. So from a mobile app, you're running that tractor. Correct. These intelligent machines offer a glimpse into a future where farming becomes more efficient, precise, and potentially less reliant on manual labor. Imagine vast fields being meticulously tilled, seeds sown with pinpoint accuracy, and crops harvested with minimal human intervention. This is the reality promised by autonomous tractors. Equipped with GPS navigation, LIDAR, light detection and ranging sensors, and sophisticated algorithms, these robots can autonomously perform various tasks that were traditionally done by human farmers. We're talking about autonomous tractors, machines that can plow fields with pinpoint precision. These machines follow set paths, making sure every inch of soil gets the love it needs for maximum yield. And get this, they're not just plowing blindly, they're using real-time data to adjust their depth, optimizing how resources are used. That means smarter farming and more efficient land usage. But wait, there's more. Let's talk about planting, say goodbye to guesswork, and hello to robotic perfection. These machines plant seeds with absolute accuracy, making sure they're at the perfect depth and spacing. That spells improved germination rates and better crop yields. Plus, it cuts down on seed waste, making every seed count towards a bountiful harvest. Now that's what I call farming smart. And when it's time to bring in the goods, we've got robots ready to roll. Imagine robots with super sensitive sensors and gentle robotic arms delicately plucking fruits and veggies from the field. No more bruised apples or crushed tomatoes here, folks. These robots are all about maximizing crop quality while minimizing damage. It's a game changer for delicate crops and those that need a little extra tender loving care. Autonomous tractors are like super smart farming helpers. They're not just about saving money and working faster, they do a whole lot more. First off, these tractors are super precise. They don't make mistakes like humans sometimes do. They follow instructions perfectly, making sure every task is done just right. This means farmers can count on consistent results every time they use them. Another cool thing about these tractors is that they're like mini weather stations on wheels. They have special sensors that can tell farmers all sorts of important stuff. They can check the soil to see if it needs more water or if it's got enough nutrients. They can even keep an eye on the crops to make sure they're healthy. Plus, they can give updates on the weather so farmers know if they need to change their plans. But it's not just about making farming easier. It's also about taking care of the planet. These tractors are designed to be gentle on the environment. They use resources like water and fertilizer more efficiently, which means less waste. And because they're so precise, they don't disturb the soil as much as traditional tractors, which helps keep it healthy for growing crops. Overall, using machines like self-driving tractors can help us grow more food, waste less, and take better care of the earth. This means there's enough food for everyone to eat and we can keep our planet healthy for future generations. The widespread adoption of autonomous tractors is still in its early stages, but the potential is undeniable. 
As technology advances and costs become more competitive, these intelligent machines are poised to become a mainstay in modern agriculture. However, it's crucial to remember that successful integration requires careful planning, infrastructure development, and support for farmers transitioning to this new technology. As self-driving tractors pave the way for automation and farming, what about the animals? Are there machines that can help with livestock management? Join us in the next chapter to discover how robots are transforming livestock management. From milking cows to monitoring their health, all without human intervention. Imagine a farm where cows milk themselves, robots deliver precise feed rations, and AI algorithms monitor animal health 24-7. This futuristic vision of livestock management, once relegated to science fiction, is rapidly becoming a reality thanks to the rise of livestock management bots. One of the most prominent examples of livestock management bots is the Automated Milking System AMS. These high-tech machines have revolutionized dairy farming by eliminating the need for manual milking. Cows walk into the AMS at their own pace, where sensors identify them and guide them into individual stalls. Robotic arms then clean and disinfect the udder before attaching teat cups that gently extract milk. The entire process is automated, with data on milk yield, udder health, and individual cow performance collected and analyzed in real time. It may seem far out into the future. Robots milking cows. Switching from traditional milking to automated milking systems, AMS, brings several benefits. Firstly, it reduces the need for people to milk the cows. This saves a lot of money, especially for big farms where hiring workers can be expensive. With AMS, cows can milk themselves whenever they want, which can happen multiple times a day. This means more milk can be collected, making farms more productive. Also, since machines do the milking, there's less chance of the milk getting dirty from human hands, which makes the milk of better quality. Plus, because cows can milk themselves when they feel like it, they're less stressed out, which is better for their health and happiness. But there are downsides too. Getting an AMS set up in the first place costs a lot of money, and even after it's installed, there are ongoing costs for maintenance. Sometimes things can go wrong, like when the power goes out or the machines stop working. When this happens, milking can't be done which can be a big problem for the farm. So farmers need to have backup plans in case something goes wrong with the AMS. Another exciting development in livestock management is the emergence of feeding robots. These automated systems distribute precise amounts of feed to individual animals based on their age, breed, and production stage. This level of precision feeding optimizes nutrient intake, reduces waste, and improves animal growth and health. Feeding robots are like smart machines that give food to animals. They help farms in many ways. First, they save money by only giving the right amount of food, so there's no waste. This also helps animals stay healthy because they get just what they need. Plus, when animals eat well, they grow better and produce more milk. Another good thing is that these robots do the feeding job, so farm workers can do other important tasks. There are also machines that watch over animals' health. These machines use fancy technology to see how animals are doing. They look at things like how the animals move, their heartbeats, and even the sounds they make. When they notice something wrong, they tell the farmers so they can help the animals quickly. This helps the animals feel better faster and stops sickness from spreading to others. Having these machines is good for farms in many ways. It helps farmers find out if animals are sick early, which saves money on treatment and helps the animals feel better. Also, it stops sickness from spreading to other animals. These machines can also provide farmers with information about the animals, helping them make better decisions, such as what food to give or which animals to breed. Even though these machines cost money, they can improve farms and help keep animals healthy.
While robots are increasingly playing a role in livestock management, it's important to remember that they are not meant to replace farmers entirely. Instead, they should be seen as valuable tools that can augment human capabilities and improve farm efficiency. The future of livestock management likely lies in a symbiotic partnership between humans and robots, where technology takes care of repetitive tasks and data analysis, while farmers leverage their skills and intuition to make informed decisions about animal care and overall farm management. While robots take charge of livestock, what about those pesky weeds? In our next chapter, we'll explore how artificial intelligence is empowering robots to tackle weed infestations, sparing farmers the backbreaking task of manual weeding. How are these AI-powered bots changing the game in weed control? Weeds, those uninvited guests in the Garden of Agriculture, have plagued farmers for centuries. But what if there was a way to say goodbye to backaches, herbicide costs, and the endless battle against these persistent invaders? Enter AI-powered weed control robots, the potential future of weed management. These robots, equipped with machine learning and computer vision, are not your average lawnmowers. They're intelligent machines, trained to identify weeds with pinpoint accuracy, differentiating them from crops even in challenging conditions. This chapter dives into the world of AI weed control, exploring its potential impact, effectiveness, and cost compared to traditional methods. Imagine a robot gliding across a field, its cameras scanning every inch of ground. Sophisticated algorithms analyze the captured images, comparing them to a vast database of weed and crop characteristics. This allows the robot to recognize even the most subtle differences between, say, a delicate lettuce seedling and a determined dandelion. Identification is just the beginning. After spotting weeds, the robot's brain kicks in to decide what to do next. There are a few options. Firstly, the robot might use targeted herbicide application. This means it applies a little bit of weed killer right onto the weed so it doesn't waste any or hurt the crops. Secondly, it could do mechanical weeding. That means it has tiny arms that pluck out the weeds, leaving the crops alone. Lastly, there's laser weeding. This is where it shoots strong lasers at the weeds' growth points, killing them dead. Now let's talk about why this is a big deal. Even though the technology is still getting better, there are some pretty good things about using robots to kill weeds. One good thing is using less weed killer. Robots only use it where it's needed, so it's better for the environment and the crops. Another good thing is that they're fast and keep going. They don't get tired like people do, so they can cover a lot of ground quickly. Also, when the weeds are gone, the crops can grow better. That means there could be more food in the end. And it might save money too. If you don't need as many people to pull weeds, that's less money you have to pay them. But it's still early for robot weed killers. They cost a lot at first, and you need to know how to use and fix them. And sometimes they might not work perfectly because of things like how the field is or how many different kinds of weeds there are. While the idea of robots replacing farmers entirely might seem like science fiction, AI weed control represents a significant step towards automation in agriculture. It's more likely that robots will collaborate with farmers, taking on tedious and repetitive tasks like weeding, freeing up their time for other crucial activities like crop monitoring and decision-making. The future of agriculture could involve a fleet of intelligent robots, each specializing in different tasks, working alongside human farmers to create a more efficient, sustainable, and productive food system. However, ethical considerations and the potential impact on rural communities need to be carefully addressed as this technology evolves. With weeds under control, it's time to focus on the fruits of labor. But who will do the harvesting? Come with us in our next chapter as we delve into the world of harvesting robots, specialized machines equipped to identify and gently pick ripe crops. How are these robots reshaping the future of agricultural harvesting? 
While it's unlikely robots will entirely replace farmers in the next 10 years, the rise of harvesting robots is undoubtedly transforming agriculture. These specialized machines, designed for crops like fruits and vegetables, are becoming increasingly adept at identifying ripe produce and carefully harvesting it. Harvesting robots use different technologies to pick the right crops. They don't just grab everything. First, they use computer vision. Cameras take pictures of the crops. Special programs look at the colors, sizes, shapes, and textures. This helps the robot know which ones are ready to pick. Then there's spectroscopy. Sensors measure the light that bounces off the crops. This shows if they're ripe or not. For example, a ripe strawberry reflects a different light than a green one. Lastly, there's AI and machine learning. These help the robot get better over time. They learn from the pictures and sensor data. They learn to pick the best crops. Modern harvesters are careful when picking crops. They don't want to damage them. They use robotic arms with flexible fingers. These fingers are like human hands. They can pick the crops gently. There are also grippers. These are special tools for different crops. They hold the crops without squishing them. Lastly, there's force control. Sensors help the robot know how hard to grip. They can adjust based on how soft or firm the crop is. This stops them from squishing it. When it comes to costs and maintenance, there are things to consider. Harvesting robots can be expensive to buy and keep running. They have many parts and need regular checkups, but in the long run, they can save money. They work faster than humans. They can also work longer without taking breaks. This means more crops get picked in less time. So even though they cost a lot up front, they can pay off over time. Plus, they can help farmers avoid losses from damaged crops. Overall, while they may be costly at first, they can be a wise investment for farmers in the long term. Harvesting robots vary in cost, ranging from $20,000 to $250,000 for initial investment. The more advanced models tend to be pricier. Additionally, regular maintenance is essential, with an estimated annual cost of $5,000 to $10,000 for upkeep including sensor calibration, software updates, and occasional repairs. The impact of harvesting robots on farmers is multifaceted. While there are concerns about job displacement, the current situation offers a more nuanced perspective. With labor shortages being a common issue in agriculture, robots serve as valuable assistants, particularly in handling repetitive tasks. This allows farmers to dedicate their time and energy to more strategic activities, such as crop planning and management. Looking ahead, the next decade holds promises of further advancements in harvesting robots. Expect to see robots capable of handling a wider variety of crops, including delicate and irregularly shaped ones. Furthermore, autonomy will be a key feature. With robots increasingly navigating fields and making decisions independently, thereby minimizing human intervention. Moreover, integrating harvesting robots with other farm technologies, such as precision agriculture, holds the potential to optimize resource utilization and reduce environmental impact. By embracing this technology, farmers can not only improve efficiency, but also address labor shortages and contribute to a more sustainable food system. With the harvest in full swing, it's essential to keep a close eye on the crops. But how can farmers monitor vast fields efficiently? Join us in our next chapter as we explore the skies with drone crop monitors. How are these drones making precision in agriculture better? Imagine soaring above lush fields, not in a hot air balloon, but in a whizzing robotic dragonfly. This is the reality of drone crop monitors, improving how farmers keep their eyes on their fields. Packed with advanced technology, 
These tiny aerial assistants gather valuable data on crop health, soil conditions, and even the environment, paving the way for precision agriculture, maximizing yields while minimizing waste. But before we get carried away by the drone revolution, let's delve into the nitty-gritty costs and maintenance. Owning a drone for crop monitoring can set you back anywhere from $2,000 to $20,000, depending on the model and its capabilities. Entry-level options offer basic imaging, while high-end drones boast multi-spectral sensors, thermal cameras, and AI-powered analysis. Remember, it's not just the drone itself. You'll need batteries, spare parts, software, and potentially training or certification depending on regulations. But it's not all upfront costs. Think of drone maintenance as the drone's checkup. Regular inspections, battery replacements, and potential repairs add to the operational expense. Expect to spend $500 to $3,000 annually on keeping your drone in tip-top shape. The good news? Unlike tractors or harvesters, drones require less frequent and complex maintenance, making them relatively cost-effective in the long run. So, is it worth the investment? For farms of all sizes, considering the use of drones can be a good idea. Depending on your farm's size, budget, and goals, there are different factors to think about. Small farms might find it more cost-effective to hire a drone service. However, for larger farms, the long-term benefits might outweigh the initial investment. One benefit of using drones on farms is precision application. Drones can find problem areas precisely, which helps in targeting fertilizer, pesticides, and water exactly where they are needed. This reduces waste and saves money. Studies have shown that using drones can save up to 25% on fertilizer costs. Another advantage of using drones is early detection. Drones can spot pest infestations, diseases, or nutrient deficiencies early on. This allows for quicker intervention, which minimizes crop damage and potential yield losses. Efficiency is also improved when using drones on farms. Drones can cover large areas quickly and efficiently, saving time and manpower compared to traditional ground-based methods. Moreover, using drones provides data-driven decisions. The data collected by drones gives a detailed picture of the farm, which helps in making informed decisions about planting, irrigation, and resource management. Looking into the future of drone technology, there are some exciting developments expected. Firstly, increased affordability is expected as drone technology matures, making them more accessible to smaller farms. Secondly, drones are expected to become smarter with the use of AI. AI-powered drones will be able to analyze data on the fly, providing real-time insights and recommendations. Lastly, drones might soon be used for tasks like planting seeds, applying pesticides, and even harvesting crops. In conclusion, while there are initial costs and maintenance involved in using drones on farms, the potential benefits for precision agriculture are significant. As technology advances and costs decrease, drones are likely to become an integral part of farming practices, transforming the way we farm and ensuring a more sustainable future for agriculture.